I'm Jonathan Sadler, and I'm the commanding officer of what is now New Ship Canberra and soon to be HMAS Canberra. I think you'll agree with me at the end of this video, we've got an exciting new opportunity as a nation here, and I look forward to you enjoying it with us over the next few minutes. This is the World Oak area on Canberra, which is one metre above the waterline. It's capable of flooding to 2.8 metres below the waterline when we're at sea operations which allows us to put landing craft up to the beaches to remove tanks, equipment, personnel ashore, and is also able to store the full landing craft. This is a heavy vehicle deck. And its area is 1,410 square metres. This uh, area is capable of storing all our heavy vehicles, which can include tanks, bulldozers, motorbikes, jeeps, etc. Uh, it is accessible from the well dock via the beaches. It has two side loading ramps to my left, to my right, is a ramp that goes between this deck and the light vehicle deck, and there's also a light vehicle lift as well. I'm traversing up the ramp from the heavy vehicle deck to the light vehicle deck combined hangar. This hangar is able to store up to 18 aircraft for operations. We're able to access the flight deck from here via two aircraft lifts, but there's also a light vehicle lift at the front for storing light vehicles and getting them to the heavy vehicle deck below. This is the Embark Forces Cafe. We're capable of supporting over a thousand Embark Forces. This is a cafe where they'll eat, be briefed, as well as a staging area for ops if they're running out of the flight deck or the well dock. Welcome to the galley. This is a central galley and as such has savoury lines feeding off of it. To my left we have the Embark Forces savoury, behind me the Junior Sailors savoury and after through a rear bulkhead, water type bulkhead, we have the Senior Sailors and Wardroom. We have six combi therms four griddles. It actually has a bakery set up in the back corner. The galley is capable of producing 5,000 meals a day, so that's 1,300 people times four. Here we are in the Junior Sailors Cafe. This is where the Junior Sailors eat. It uh, is designed for comfortably seating 70 personnel. To our left we have the salad bar, gelato station and an ice cream machine. To the right is a servery. Down further we have soup stations, milk, tea, coffee, etc. This room can also be used for briefings. We are in the senior sailors dining room. This has been designed to comfortably seat 84 senior sailors. They are able to have briefings in here and has the same modern comforts as the junior sailors which includes salad bar, gelato station and ice cream machinery. For all your officers out there, this is the officers dining room. This comfortably seats 64 personnel. This is where meals happen and there's also briefs. There's a wardroom further aft for our recreational purposes. This construction site behind me uh, will be the bridge. It is situated on 05 deck, approximately 42.5 metres above the water line. Uh, it's on the starboard side of the ship. Imagine uh, once it's all done, having the eight to 10 personnel up here operating the ship. On the port side, we can overlook the flight deck, get to see all the flying operations. Starboard side is where we'll use uh, to come alongside the wharfs, etc. We have a hospital on board and this is the intensive care unit for the hospital. As part of the hospital we also have two operating theatres, medium care ward, low care ward, a pharmacy, x-ray facilities and a dental surgery. This is one of a number of recreational spaces for junior sailors on board the ship. This room it consists of a little reading desk in the centre along with other desks along the side that have data entry points to connect to the ship's land and two separate viewing sections for watching the ship's entertainment system. We're in a full berth senior sailor's cabin. We have two racks on this side, two racks on the other side, ample storage around the place, their own desk, ensuite. Junior sailors have a six berth cabin with our heads and showers further down the hall. 